Hello and welcome. This tutorial is intended for Python beginners and in it I'm going to create the game Hangman from scratch. I will go step by step and I will not only write the code but also share how I will approach creating the game. So let's get started. What the game does is basically we have a word at the beginning that we should guess and we can either guess one letter or we can guess the whole word. At the end once the game is over, whether we've guessed the word or not, we would like to basically be asked to play again. So there are th we, can, we can split it into more or less three different sections. So first, get the word, then check whether our input has been part of the word or the word itself, and then ask if we want to play again. So let's begin. First. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import random and this is something that I'm going to use to get the word. Why? Well, if you're playing multiplayer then of course one person would input the, the word and then the other one would guess and that's fine. But if we have a, a list of words, uh, let's say cat, dog, I think python would be a good example here. And then let's have a monkey. And then, um, I don't know, let's have a snake. So, we would like to have, yeah, in this case, we only have five words just for, for, for this tutorial, but otherwise, you might have here a thousand words, and that's completely fine. So, then we would like to get the random choice of words. So, that would be our word, basically. We have a random word that we would get out of all the words in our list. So let's start with basically the, uh, let's play the game. So how it would work. First, we would get the word, right? Then we would have some letters that we would guess. And at the beginning it's empty, so we have not guessed any letter. Um, what would be good is if we have a limited amount of, uh, let's say, tries. Let's leave it to 10. So we have 10 times 10 guesses of 10, 10 guesses that are incorrect. So if we if we guess 10 letters that are not in the word, or if we try 10 times to guess the full word, but that's not the word, then the game is over. Also, what we can do is, well, let's start with guessed, whether the word is not guessed. So at the beginning, it's false. We can start by um, maybe printing that the game has started, so the word contains uh, maybe LAN word letters. So let's run this. Let's see if we get any error. So this is oh, we also need to the game. So we have we get a word with six letters. So at least this is this is a good start. Then we would like to we would like to have. Uh, one underscore or maybe an asterisk or like, yeah let's let's stick with with the asterisk so um, I would like to have for every character in the word I would like to have one star so play the game now in this case we have three letters and here we have uh, it in asterisk language so that's good I'm going to run the function every time we run the script. So then we would say while guessed is false. So while we have not guessed the word, but also we have tries. So we, we are not we didn't run out of tries. First we want to let the user know how many uh, guesses he has left. So you have plus a string of guesses, of, uh, sorry, of tries, tries. Then we would like the user for his input or his guess, and that would be input. And then uh, we can have, uh, we, we can ask the user, please enter one letter or the full word. And then it would be good to have it uh, standardized. So I'm going to put all uh, lower lowercase. So regardless whether the user has uh, uh, 
capital letter or low, lower lower letter is that's still fine now we there are two things that could happen so one is user inputs 11 and two is user inputs a the full word but there's also actually a third one where user inputs just some uh, letters but the, the where the total amount of the total number of letters is not equal to the total number of letters in the word so what if we have the, the word cat and he puts uh, python for example as an answer right then we wouldn't want to notify him that that's the case so let's start with user inputs a letter in that case basically if the length of our guess so is equal equal to one so the input from the user it has just one letter has just one character we're not sure if it's a letter or not we would like to check if if it's if it's a character how can we check that well we can have the alphabet here as a string so So now we have our alphabet here. So we can say if the guess is is guess not in alphabet, then um, we can say that you you have not entered a letter. Then if guess is um, if it's already in the letters guess, so if it could be that it, he, the, the user has guessed that letter before, now he's doing that again, so we can say, well, you have already guessed that letter before. Then, of course, there are two more scenarios. One is if the letter is in the word, and one is if it's not the word. So let's start uh, if, so elif guess not in word if it's not in the word then we would like to first say well sorry um, that letter is not part of the word yeah we can do it like set face then we want to append it to the letters guess so for the next time if it if it's the same letter, we're sure that it doesn't uh, spend or waste one of his tries, and then we would like to to reduce the number of tries by one. And then the last part would be, well, the the last part would be basically if the guess is in word, then we would like to print, um, well done, that letter exists in the word, and then. We would still want to append it to the letters guessed so it doesn't guess twice and then I'll, I will put an else because here I don't expect anything I think we covered all scenarios but just in case if, if we get um, this message like I actually no idea why we get this message should be investigated further so if we get this one then for some reason none of the above has happened but I don't think that can be the case I think we've got all the scenarios but it's good to have just this line and if that happens then go and see what happened so that would be if if the user has actually guessed one letter one character and it's a letter and if it's not a letter it gets the corresponding response so then the next scenario was what if he has a full word we would ask, so we would say L if the length of the guess, now if, if it's completely equal to the length of the word, then he, tr he attempted to, to guess the word. So we can say print, well done, you have, yeah, oh sorry, if, if, if it's the same, but also if, um, if the guess is equal to the word. So his guess is equal to the word that we have in mind. Then we would say print. Well done, you have guessed the word.
and then well then we will also say that guest is true so it would the whole script would stop because here we have while well, guest is equal to false so and that's what we want to happen but if that's not the case well sorry that was not the word we were looking for another set phase that's fine and we want to reduce the number of tries by one and i think now we've covered um, these so if the if the input has is a letter and if the input is full word but if that's not the case so if the user has one character that's fine if the user has input at just as many characters as the word that's fine but if that's not the case so what we have what, would, what we would have as else is if the user has inputted a different amount of characters than the word that we're looking for so this would be number three well then we would like, like to ha say hey um, maybe the land of the land of your guess is not the same as the land or the number well, the, the length of your guess is not the same as the length of the word we are looking for. Sorry. Well, I don't have to be sorry. The user should be more careful with that. Here, if we have an, like, just in order to cancel it, we need to put a backslash. And that's, that's nice. So, up until now, we've accounted for... Uh, basically the few options that the, the user can can do and that's fine but what we still need to do is to display the, the so to say update or the status of to the user back to the user so we don't if, if this is this is right that's fine but we the user doesn't get an update of where the, the letter is so if he has if his guess was in the letters guest or if it's in the if it's not in the word or if it's in the word he doesn't get back his, his current status so i'm going to create a an empty string so status and then uh if if it's still false so if it's if, if he's still if the user he or she if the user still has not guessed the word for every letter in word we would like to print the letter if it's guessed, if it's in the letters guessed, otherwise we want to print the asterisk. So if um, for letter in word, if letter in letters guessed, then, for, then not, we, want, we don't want to print, but we want to, to add it to the status. So plus equals letter and else. So if the letter is not guessed yet, status add just an asterisk or, or a star and then uh, we would want to print status i think that would be fine now if if uh, a user has guessed all the letters one by one that means that if that our status would be equal equal to the to the word itself and if that's the case of course the game should be should be over and we should uh, congratulate the user by a sentence like well done you have guessed the word and then again guessed is equal to true but if um, there is one more uh, so else if there are no more tries we would like to say hello well apologies but you have run out of guesses and you haven't guessed the word right so i think up until now let's try it should be nice and unless there's a typo or something i think so here we go you have oh we have 10 tries so here we need to have some space i'll rerun this so you have an empty space and then tries and here we go so please enter one letter of the full word so we know that 
uh, we have five letters so it's probably snake so let's try with a and here it is we still have 10 tries what if we put a again well you have already guessed that letter before you still have 10 tries that's good uh, what if we get like b that's a letter that does not exist sorry that letter is not part of the word we have nine tries and again we get the status uh, if we get s and k and e well done the letter exists in the word snake well done you have guessed the word all right that seems fine let's uh, play again and let's try to guess the full word this time so three letters let's say it is cat yeah so let's try it with cat well done you have guessed the word and let's try to run out of guesses i'm going to b m w x okay so sorry you have run out of guesses and you haven't guessed the word all right well it seems like it's working fine the last thing we need to do is ask the user does he want to play again i'm going to put it on, on top just to find play again and then basically what we do is we we ask the user uh, well would you like to play again yes or no now again i would want to have this as lower just or uh, you can have it as uppercase it doesn't matter as long as it, it you, you remain constant to it that's fine uh, then the user can have oh sorry yes or no if the the user can only put the y and that's still that could be fine if we if we put it so if we set the answer so if it's yes or so if it's just the y or yes then just play game else well let's not do anything for now you can you can do like a system quit or something so just to close the window that's also fine and then we start with the play to play the game and then once we are at the very end whatever happens we can ask to play again so I'm going to run this and let's see if it works so we have six letters we have ten tries and let's start a p m o so this one is monkey well done you have guessed the word would you like to play again yes all right now the word contains six letters and so on i think it, it looks great uh, of course if you're looking for a more intermediate project what you can do is you can have a, a gui for this where may, maybe the word would be displayed but also that the hangman picture so to say would be displayed um, that that would be that is also an idea if you like the video please hit the like button click the subscribe for more python related videos in the future and until next time.